Skyrocket is a premier ride, Skyrocket 1, located at Kennywood in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. Once opening on June 29, 2010, this coaster was my 500th coaster that I have ridden, so for me it was a super special experience when I rode it this past summer. Though it was not the best 500th coaster, as for most people, they would set it to be one of the best coasters out there. Skyrocket is still a very fun ride. Led by some fantastic elements such as the sharp drops off the top hat and mid course, you'll be fulfilled by this prototype coaster as that is what it was built to be as it was the first ever Skyrocket coaster manufactured by Premier Rides. I got to ride this coaster a total of two times my past visit, once in the front and the other in the back, and that is what I'll be doing in today's video, my full in-depth review on Skyrocket. But most importantly, before we start, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on coasters often as it really helps the channel out tremendously. Also, if you want to see more, make sure to follow my Instagram for updates and much more. But now that is out of the way, let's jump in to this review. First off, let's just notice on how much of an impact this coaster had on the industry as it made way for many of the other Skyrocket clones, mainly the Skyrocket 2s. These clones have been spreading all around parks out there and they, on their own, are still great rides influenced by this one coaster. This ride was actually standing but not operating from May of 2018 to July of 2019 which was really due to a problem in the launch system. That was really why I did not get to ride it on my summer 2018 visit but that did make way for it finally becoming my 50th coaster. But when I did get to ride it, I was pleasantly surprised that this coaster was better than I expected. As I mentioned earlier, a reason for that is the great dives off the top hat in mid course. These two elements, especially the one off the mid course, are the highlights of this ride. You'll get ejected out of your seat, but the only way that that is possible is that if you experience this coaster in the back seat, by far, that is the best seat of this ride and no way could the front car ever compare. This is the definition of a backseat ride as this coaster is just okay in the front even though this launches may be a little better. For the stats, this coaster is 95 feet tall, 50 miles per hour, it has 3 inversions, and a track length of 2,100 feet long, so obviously not the best stats, but still it is decent. Though I have been talking about the pros of this ride, there are still some cons, the main one being the pacing of this ride, as in no way is it perfect at all. Mainly towards the end of the ride, there are those random, just okay S-Bends and airtime hills that really don't do anything for the ride experience. But now that the cons are out of the way, let's walk up to this ride as right when you walk into the park, to the right greeting you is Skyrocket. The presentation of this coaster is solid, definitely the color scheme on this thing looks great, I absolutely love the blue track. You have that pretty standard but nice looking entrance sign as through the queue you can get pretty close to the launch as it will speed right past you. Following is that pretty basic station, this coaster you know really has no theming to it other than the name which really is just no theming at all. There are those standard premier trains and restraints that are lap bars which is always a good sign compared to you know what could be the alternative comfort collars. But finally you will depart the station into a left turn, this coaster starts off very nicely as then you will get forced into this launch, a pretty forceful launch just to mention. Premier has always done great with their launches, especially on this one which is truly powerful as following that is the highest point of this ride, the 95 foot tall top hat. You will of course get pulled down that 90 degree descent as I discussed earlier in this video, this is a great element as is the next cutback. Technically, this is counted as one of the three inversions on this coaster per RCDB as another great inversion is next. This is my personal favorite, a 0G roll. You get some decent whip with this inversion as following is a turn up into the mid-course brake run and this is truly a blessing on the coaster. Because the drop off this thing is so good, you will suddenly just get pulled over into a low to the ground turn into the final inversion of the coaster. 
that is the corkscrew that really isn't anything special the same as the rest of the ride as i said this really does ruin any momentum that you might have had but you will come into the brake run ending your ride on skyrocket Overall, this coaster is pretty fun, just a wacky ride, which can be good as that really comes into the spotlight with this coaster. As for its overall score, I will be giving it a 7.5 out of 10. But what do you think of Skyrocket? Make sure to post that in the comments below. I read every comment, love what you guys have to say. And of course, if you are not already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on coasters often. And see ya!